and I told you guys I was going to bring a quick tutorial and it will be very quick. Um, so basically, if you use ScreenFlow or want to use ScreenFlow, you can download that using torrents, buy it, whatever you want to do. Not my responsibility. Um, but it, can, you, it doesn't have the option just to record your voice. So that, that can cause problems because, I mean, nobody, maybe I just want to add my voice into a uh, gameplay, make a commentary, and it would overlay with my screen right here. So what you do is you basically just export it onto your desktop. For instance, I uh, exported this. Um, and basically, when, whatever the it is, like a .mp4, or even if it is anything, just add .mp3, which will basically just cut out the video and make it, like for instance, a music video would be the same thing. It would just cut out the video. Um, so you just change it to that, and I'm not going to change it because it would screw up my uh, video. So I'm going to leave that, but it would change it to just an MP3. And when you double click it, it will probably open with iTunes. And you just have to kind of sit it there for a second because it takes a while to kind of uh, change, convert, and then you can just drag it. Let me show you. Ooh, I'm gonna post this one. All right. So then you would just drag it, drag it to your library, and it would probably it would, ah, it's copying it. And then you would just basically go to your editing uh, software for your Mac, for instance, Final Cut Pro or something like that and then when you add in your music you just go to iTunes and add it in so that was re it's really really simple if you have any problems uh, tell me in the comments subscribe and I hope you enjoy the video